Shoo! What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode. Before we jump into today's video, guys, say a huge shout out to my medic for sponsoring today's video. My medic school is to prepare everybody with the training and equipment for the unexpected emergency. My medic began after a tragic automobile accident where lack of training and equipment led to a family member bleeding out while waiting for emergency medical services. My medic is the number one most visited first aid website in the world. They're assembled in the USA covered by a lifetime guarantee. My medic's first aid kits are data driven so you always have what you need. Now my medic has several first aid kits like this guy right here which is jam packed filled with your everyday carry items for any type of emergency. They've also got these little small guys which is the hikers pack edition. But my favorite of all of them is this guy right here, which is the boat medic, okay? So this thing is built to carry on boats, which a lot of you guys watching like to fish like myself, and that's what literally this thing is designed for. It's the official first aid kit of the USA sail team. It is crush proof, dust proof, and waterproof. It contains all of the items you're gonna need for common boating and fishing injuries. Inside the boat medic kit, You've got a package for bleeding, for sprain and fracture, bleeding and topical, burn and bleeding. This is stuff filled with anti-nausea medicine, pain reliever, all the stuff, all the stuff that you're gonna need while you're out there dangling. They've even got a MyMedic splint. There's tweezers, scissors, sunscreen, lip balm, and sting relief. They've even got an emergency blanket, folks. There's a lot more in here as well, but you guys get the gist. There's literally everything you need for any fishing, boating, or pretty much anything related, common injuries. This kit is gonna have what you need to save your life. On top of all that, folks, this has an automatic pressure valve, which means it's gonna flow. So even in a boating accident, you're not gonna lose it. First aid is no joke, ladies and gentlemen. You've seen it on my videos, okay? I've done some sketchy things, flipping four-wheelers. So having something like this is gonna be super crucial in case somebody does get injured to make sure that they've got the proper medical attention and equipment to ensure everybody stays safe. So if you guys wanna check out my medic, it'll be linked down below and you get 25% off by clicking the link down in the description. First aid is no joke, ladies and gentlemen. Take it serious, click the link down below, check it out. Huge shout out to my medic for sponsoring today's video. It is brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do. I do every single day, which make videos for you guys. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Shoo! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode. We are starting the day off, but we're out at the house because we got these rabbits you guys haven't seen for a little while. They're alive. They're, some of you guys thought that we killed them. We didn't kill, look at, they're running around, but look how big they've gotten. They've gotten absolutely massive. They're fully weaned. They've been drinking water, eating hay, eating grass, and eating grain, like legit champions. So I just wanna kind of give you guys an update. We are gonna let them munch around in the grass a little. We need like a bigger pen. We were gonna use that. I feel like, I mean, it's good. You can move them around a little bit, but these suckers are, they're just about ready to you know not be set free but pretty much we still don't know what we're gonna do if we keep them we sell them we hadn't really made up our mind they're so darn cute i'd have a hard time selling these little suckers just, they've been my friends since they were about this big the thing is they don't really like me they just like me for my food that i provide to them which i get I, it's respectful but let's go ahead and get these guys moved over i just want to kind of give you guys a quick update show you the growth of them especially big thumpy that guy big chunky right there he's giant dude they literally look like the full size grown of like a cottontail wild rabbit. But these are the Flemish. They're not giant Flemish, but they're Flemish. So they do have like those bigger ears and a little bit bigger body. So let's get these guys moved over some fresh grass. All right, no funny business now, okay? Here you go. Just walk, get in the other one. Oh, there you go. Oh, see, you know the drill, you know the strat. Come on, get it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Come on, buddy. Come on, dude, they're so big, bro. You wanna go over here? This, this way I can keep an eye on you a little bit better. We don't get no coyotes coming after you. There you go. Hey, Thumpy, everybody wants to see you. You're big chungus, come here. Look at Thumper. Look how big Thumper is, dude. Such a big chungy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you're, you're up here. There you go. Come on, buddy. I think this is Gustavo, isn't he? Yeah, that's Gustavo. Come here, buddy. Oh, come on, Carmelicious, come on. There you go, bud. Go join your friends. Go join your friends. Look at them. They just go off. They munch. They love it. He has like the fresh grass. Let me leave you out here for the afternoon. It's nice and cool out here, actually. I'm gonna shut this before you get any good ideas. I cannot believe. Does this sound bad? I can't believe they made it, okay? Like, just because rabbits in general seem like rather hard animals to raise from them being like this big, especially when you don't have a mother, you know, taking care of them. But I mean, we raise these things from just little fluff balls. They drink milk like crazy. Well, first off, if you guys are new here, we made an entire video about these guys. So if you haven't seen it, you should go check it out. But when we first rescued these things, they wouldn't drink milk. They didn't want nothing to do with that fake nipple. Okay, so we had to sit there, put it on our fingers, and like put it on their lips, and they would lick it off. And then they finally 
got them started. Now they would drink gallons of that stuff. And so then we finally got them kind of weaned off of it, mainly because each little thing of milk of powder was $20 and they were going through three of them a week. These little suckers were racking up a hell of a bill. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe we should start kind of weaning them. And boom, within like three days, they're drinking water, eating the hay, eating the grass and eating the grain. They're pretty much like good to go. You know, we could have them outside. I just get nervous, okay, with the whole raccoon strat. What happened to these guys' mother? I don't want to happen to them versus if I kind of keep them in the garage, I can keep a good eye on them. But they're also kind of a pain in the garage because they make a mess everywhere. Also, I want them to live the life of a rabbit. You know, I don't want them to live in some like a little cage, especially with six of these little suckers. You know, they're, oh, oh, he's breaking oh, out. Right. Hey, hey, no breaking out, buddy. Anyways, I had to give you guys an update. We hadn't shown you the rabbits for a few videos. They're, I just wanna make sure you guys knew they're alive, they're well. We still don't know what we're gonna do with these little suckers. They're just, uh, they're so darn cute, I don't know. They're a lot of work. They are a lot of work, I will say. Like all six of them. If you had one, it wouldn't be, it's like having a hamster. It ain't a big deal. You have six of these little suckers. They go through a lot of food, a lot of water. We hadn't quite made up our mind, but I wanna give, give you guys an update. Today's agenda, we don't really have an agenda. It's nice out. It's finally not like 90,000 freaking degrees. So we might do some fishing, might do some, I, we don't really know. One thing that we thought of though, since it's nice out and it's nice and sunny, it's a little breezy, it's not super hot, is we are gonna work with Lucy a little bit, take her down to the pond and start kind of working on retrieving from the dock, having her jump off, you know, chasing the bumper and stuff. We've worked with her quite a bit so far this spring. You know, she's definitely not no expert gun dog, but she's doing better. We got her to sit and stay and then to go and fetch. So we haven't really practiced what we've worked here down by the pond in the water, which is where she's gonna be when we're duck hunting. We duck hunt around water. I think we're gonna kind of let these guys munch for a little bit, keep an eye on them, relax, and then grab Lucy and head down to the pond and get to training. Stay tuned. Shoo! Well, folks, we made it down to the pond with Lucy. You excited, buddy? There's no geese to chase. So just take it easy, okay? We're training. Oh, there's bluegills right there. Oh, there's a cro oh, there's a two crappie. Oh, the crappie might be doing shallow things. We could always crappie fish later. That's that's one species that we're trying to get. Oh, okay. Where are you going, Rick? You got it. Get, get your, go catch a crappie or something. You got it. Well, uh, she loves water. Anyways, yeah, I guess we could always do that too. We're, we want to stock crappie in the cabin pond. So that's, you know, we've done some bass. We've done some bluegills. We haven't really stocked much crappie, but crappie is something you don't want. Oh, Lucy, come here. Come over here. There you got it. Go, oh, good girl. Crappie's something you don't really want in this pond since we're trying to grow big bass. So that could be something that we do today. If, if we see some more crappie, it is a nice day. I mean, talk about a crappie dangling day. Look at that light breeze, sunny, high sun. So anyways, we're going to work with Lucy a little bit, trying to get her sharpened up for duck season. She's okay. She's okay. She's just a young pup who just got a lot of energy and doesn't always listen the greatest. I took her out last year actually quite a bit. And, you know, I was pretty impressed with how young she was. She just needs fine tuning. Needs to be, you know, just really hammer stuff home. She knows how to go fetch something. Like if she sees an object and I tell her to go fetch it, she'll bring it back. You know, like doesn't know anything about blind retrieves, clearly. And sometimes she's a little iffy about bringing it back. So I did bring a bag of treats right here. Lucy, Lucy, what's this? Okay, yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, maybe this will motivate you a little bit more, huh? Okay, well, we are gonna get to training here. And you think, start small. Yeah, throw throw it a couple with feet. The bumper, toss okay. it. We'll, we'll give her a little bit of treat just to give her a little bit more. And so this is how I trained her initially when she was a pup was treats. And then we kind of went away from it. And now we're kind of going back. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah. Oh, who's excited? Oh, who's so excited? You gotta sit, stay, fetch. Right here. Here, bring it back. Nope, oh, fetch it up. Fetch it up. Right here. Bring it here. Oh, look, look, watch. Come on, come here, right here. Bring it, oh, nope, that. Thank you for that. Hey, how about you, you bring that to me and I'll give you a treat. She says, could be in lazy and just grab it, it's two feet from you. Oh, yeah, okay, let's try one more time. Can you sit, stay, fetch, go fetch. Bring it here, here, no, uh -uh. no, you forgot your bumper. She's a spaz, fetch. What's the strat here? Did you forget? This is the worst you've ever been. What, Lucy? You think the tree's backfired? Yeah, they could have. Fetch. Let's go. Here, bring here. Okay, we'll, we'll count better. that as a dub. We'll That's count better. that as a dub. Good girl. Okay, can you sit? Fetch. Fetch. Yeah, trees are backfiring a little bit. They're backfiring. Yeah. Yikes. Good girl. Bring here. Bring here. Okay, good girl. All right, let's try a little further. Can you sit? Stay. Fetch. Good girl, bring it here. Bring it here, here. Lucy, here. Oh, good girl, okay, here, here, you missed it. There you go, good girl. Okay, we're getting better. I think when it's so close, it throws her off a little because mm -hmm. we don't really train super close. All right, let's go one more time. Sit. Fetch. Good girl, bring it here, right here. What's this? What's this? Uh -uh. Bring it to me, right here, fetch up. Okay, good girl, we'll count it, we'll count it. We're doing better, you wanna try some water? Sit, stay. 
Look at that jump. She's got that figured out. The thing is, it might be easier because I can meet her right when she comes out. That yeah. might help just a little bit. Yeah. Good girl, Lucy. Good girl. Come here, Lucy. Up, up, up. Oh, you, no, you dropped it. Good girl. Go. I think that's that might be right, the way yeah. to do it. Good girl. Oh, that's such a good dog. Okay, sit. Fetch. I think that this might be the key. Don't give her an option not to bring it right mm. to you. Bring it here. Bring it here. Oh, good girl. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're having so much fun. Should we try the launcher? You can try it. We'll do one more. Fetch. She's doing better with commands though. Oh yeah. It's two months ago, she went, She didn't know the word stay. Did not know the word stay. She's improving. We just gotta stay on top. If you guys have any training tips, I always ask. If you guys know any secrets, have her bring it back better, let us know. Good girl, Lisa. Oh yeah, good girl. Oh yeah, that feels good. All right, let's try this launcher thing. Cause then it sounds like a gunshot, right? Oh yeah, it's loud. Which might mess with her. I've been working with her a little bit with like shooting like a trap load, but she's gonna hear that fire and I guarantee she'll break that first one, but you gotta keep them from breaking. That's the hardest thing. Is that, I feel like that's one of the hardest things. Yeah, that's tough. I feel like most dogs I'm around break. They yeah. do everything else, but they break. I feel like that's a tough thing. So this launcher is back here. You got, look at this contraption. We could try it on land. Is that supposed to be for water, do you think? It goes in water, yeah. Oh, it is water, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. okay. All right, so how do you run this thing? All right, so you see that piece right there? Yeah. Open that up. Like this way? Yeah. Okay. Then that bolts back. Okay. That's where you put your blank. Okay, so we've got 22s that don't have any bullets. They don't go nowhere, they just make a pow. So you stick it up in this like that? Yep, that's it. Then you close that. Then you eat this thing right here. You, you <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's weird how it works. You want to do it first? I'll do it. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that makes me feel better because you're you're giving me the look like I'm about to mess <laughs> something up. First time I did it, I just pulled back and the thing was gone forever. What? Far no. Far Come here, Lucy. She's probably gonna bust. But I, the one thing I, you, you'll see here, if she breaks and I yell at her, she'll she'll usually come right back. So you want to try to aim it that way? Is that yeah, what you're I'll thinking? Probably try to land it by the picnic table. What? Huh? That's like close range. Huh? What? Yeah. Okay, Lucy. Hey, where where are you going, buddy? I missed something. Where's she go? Hey, Lucy, come here. <laughs> There's not. What what are you trying to swim for? There's nothing out there. Maybe she thinks that sticks like a little duck or something. Let's go. We got this little shotgun bumper launcher majigger that we're gonna try to use, but maybe it'll hurt us. We're not sure. I appreciate the enthusiasm. Okay. Yeah. Shake it off. Let's see it. You got it. Come here. Sit. Okay. No telling where this thing's gonna go. First, oh God. First real. Oh level. God. Stay. Ready? Yep. Hey, come here, Lucy. Here, here, here. Sit. Fetch. I'm actually impressed That's she came really back good. and marked like yeah. that. She's she never done. Fall. No, she didn't see no. Flag. Good girl, Lucy. Bring it here. Come on. I'm impressed she came back and sat next to me. She knew what she did wrong. Like I said, she's learning. Good girl, come here. Good girl. That was a good one, buddy. Oh, that was a good one. What's the strap with the boom, huh? That throw you off some? I'll launch this next one. That way I can kind of okay. keep an eye on her. It so how far did you pull that? I wouldn't really walk Not like, far. like that. No, nah, I did more than that. Like but that? Like, yeah, but if you give her a full pull and angle her right, you can freaking launch that sucker. So just like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. And then you have to open that out and eject. And then in eject it. Yeah. This thing's kind of cool. Honestly, I've if never you push back on it farther. It'll... Oh, it pulls it out for you. Look yeah. at this little sucker. Yeah, I've never seen. I mean, I've seen them. I've never actually like, been around one. This yeah. is actually kind of a cool little invention. So you shut it. Now it's ready. Stay. That's so loud, bro. Yeah. In the ricochet, like yeah. the recoil, not ricochet, the recoil. I need an ear pro for that sucker. Fetch it up, Lucy. Good girl. She's doing better with the boom one than the other one. What's the strat here? Good girl. Oh yeah, you come in hot for that treat, don't you? Yeah, I can't hear nothing. It's got, there were some earplugs in there that came with some Oh, thank thing. God, now, you tell me now, now I can't hear nothing. <laughs> That's like pretty, you know, as close as you're gonna get to like real, real life again. combat type thing, you know, where it sounds like you're in the duck blind. It resembles the same thing. The best thing is about her, she listens. She doesn't ob always obey, but she if she disobeys, she'll come back to me and I can like correct her, but she won't just like go get it and like disregard my direction. She's usually pretty good about coming back, so. Should we try a water one? Yeah. Be a far retrieve, Lucy. I'll try to I'll try to tone it back a little bit, all right? Ready? I think that's too far for her to get in the water. I mean, I think she could do it. All right, let's see what you got. Fetch! <laughs> she says, do what? Huh? You want me to go where? Fetch. 
This will be impressive. That's far. Dude, she's getting it too. That is so far. Let's get her to come back on this side. Good girl, Lucy. Yeah, that was a far one. Sorry, buddy. I tried. Good girl. You deserve a big treat after that one. Was that so far? Was that just the first? Dude, she gave that to my hand. What a champ. Oh, and you're ready for more, huh? You're not tired? You really? You're not tired? All right, well, we can keep going. Come here, Lucy. We'll do a couple cannonballs with this thing. See if we can get some height instead of distance. That literally went halfway across the pond. She's such a champ. One more, sit, stay. Fetch. It's, wa it's waterlogged, <laughs> it's waterlogged, so it's not getting the distance, but that's all right, still works for her. Come here, Luz. All right, you get a big treat. Hey, oh, what? No, come on. Right here, right here. R one more, closer, right here. That's what I'm talking about, good girl. Well, if you guys have any training tips, let us know. We're getting there, okay? We're getting better. Duck season, I don't think they're ready for her. She's probably not quite ready for them. She's doing better. This little doohickey is gonna really help, I think, with the gun shot breaking aspect of hunting, because you can throw the dummy all you want. As soon as you fire that gun, your dog just goes crazy, unless it's used to it. So this should help with that. So with that being said, since I saw some crappies, I think we're gonna do a little crappie dang. We're gonna take Lucy back up, get her dried off, set her back inside, and come down and do some dangling. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! We are back, folks, and ready to give it a dangle. We are on crappie duty, okay? We may catch a bass, may catch a bluegill, probably not a catfish, but crappie duty is what we're after. We're trying to fill the cabin pond with delicious catch clean cooked fish, which we've stocked it with crappie before, but they were only, you know, yay big. Some bluegills. Uh, we've got a few bass in there, but crappie is like pretty tough to beat, especially because the crappie here in this pond only do harm for the growth of our largemouth because there's actually some pretty good sized ones in here and they eat a lot of the bass fry they eat a lot of the forage and the food not allowing basically enough food for our largemouth to then grow if we're gonna do one thing to manage this well let's just put it two ways two things to manage it is take out the small bass and take out every single crappie those are like the two biggest things you can do to try to increase the average size of largemouth in your pond take out the really small ones that are all stunted and then take out the crappie so we've taken out some bass i think we've taken out probably like i don't know 15 or 20 of them yet so far but the crappie <clears throat> wow just hit puberty the crappie yeah, we have not really touched too much so we're gonna go out there now that it's kind of warm it's sunny they should be kind of suspended deeper in the brush piles we got little spinners and stuff like that that's what we're going after we are on crop are you guys on crappie duty too oh okay well they want some crappie so let's get to fishing all right here we go boys Woo! oh look how clear this is oh there's some bluegills down there if only banjo oh we're about to hit these pipes i think we're gonna flip look at these pipes right here what was that? You see that sucker jump? Yeah. There? We're in the little 10 footer today, boys. It's probably a good thing Banjo ain't here. We'd be, wow. We'd be beef caked out right now. He'd have fallen in already. He would have definitely fallen in, yeah. Woo, sheesh, she got some horsepower behind her. Easy, girl, easy. All right, well, I think we're gonna go out kind of in the middle. Whenever we catch crappie, it seems like they're kind of off some brush piles and stuff that are right off the channel edge. What we're dangling with here is these little mamma jammas. They're just little spinners, kind of like a roadrunner style deal. One of them's like a chartreuse white. It's a little heavier, and this guy's a little bit lighter. It looks just like a little minnow. That, I'm not sure what that looks like, but I think Crabby will like it. So let's get to dangling. Shee hee hee. Look at that little guy. Got the old Minner Twister 3000. Ooh, it's clear, dude. Oh, we're getting them. Ooh, we're getting them, folks. This is about as stable as a kayak, so try to keep our balance here so we don't die. Oh, yeah, Banjo, that, this is definitely not a good day, day for Banjo. He would have been, he would have definitely been in the water three times by now like i said folks we are on crappie duty some we don't go after all that often but i love to eat they're one of the best tasting fish and that's kind of the goal cab pond you guys helped us kind of make that decision what do we turn it into now that we have two ponds you don't want them to be the same right they gotta be a little bit different so this guy is supposed to be for bass the other pond's more for catch and cooks yeah you can catch and cook a largemouth but that's not really the goal you want some more filet mignon you want that crappie you want the bluegill you want the walleye the perch oh there's a big bluegill giant gill right here oh I guess I got bit. Oh, dude, there's sticks all right in here. I never realized there were sticks right here. Oh, God, something else. Oh, this is definitely crappie territory. All day, this is crappie territory. I'm seeing some gills down there, though. There's a little bluegill biting it right now. Oh, they're just not quite big enough. Some massive bluegills right here. Come on, big Jim. Let me see it. Let me see that slab, crappie. Really? Well, at least I was in the bushes. Oh, yeah, there's bluegills all in here. Like, I've never seen them before, ever. I, so what is it going on? I don't know what the deal is. Oh, there's a knot right there. That's what it is. Ooh, oh, ooh, what you got? Oh, little Argy. Ooh, just a wee guy. Sheesh. 
Sheesh. That's bait. Look at that guy. Well, Steeny. we'll throw him back. He ain't. Normally, you'd take out the small ones, like I said, but he ain't. He, that guy ain't doing no damage. The thing is, it ain't worth it to even put it in the cabin pond because you ain't going to eat that sucker. He's just going to be eating all the bait that you put in for the crappie. We'll leave him in here for now. We got to find where these dang crappie are, though. Oh, what do we got? Oh, what do we got? On the drop. Probably a largemouth. Yes, sir. Good largey, though. All right, I see you, crappie jig. Oh, that's a good one. That ain't even the stunted size. He's a little bigger. Shoo! Look at him. Eating that little crappie jig there, buddy. Woo! See you later, dude. Yeah, he's a little chunky guy. We'll throw him back. He don't need to go nowhere. Where the heck are the crappie? Are they down in the depths? They might be out deep. Where is he? We gotta get some. There's a bunch of logs right there. There's something over there too off that point. There's a couple of big trees. It seems like those crappie seem to suspend on that. They're not shallow. I know that. We've only seen crappie and or we've only seen bluegill and bass really up shallow. I think crappie are down there hiding a little bit. I might try to put something white on. All right, we're going all all white. Looks just like a little minnow. Oh, easy there, buddy. Easy there, banjo. <laughs> we're about having an issue or what? We're good. We're good. Oh yeah, I can see this white a lot better now. Oh, oh, we got a nibble. What do we got going? Come on now. Let's go crappy. Crappy, crappy. Okay. Oh, 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 we're hooked up and that feels like a crappie. First cast. First cast. It feels like one. It's, it's a giant gill. Are you serious right now? How did the <laughs> gill eat the beetle spin? Man, I knew it wasn't a largey. Rip. That is not what we're after, big pal. No, sir. Yeah, we'll probably just toss him back. We're not after you because the bluegills, although do taste good, they have babies that the bass eat and that's what grows the bass. You don't really want to like, the only fish that you're like, get the hell out of here is a crappie. Those don't do any good for nobody when it comes to bass. Bluegill are like a 50-50. You can think of it two ways. One way, it's like, well, we can take them out, put them in the other pond and then let them grow for a year and then eat them next year. Perfect. Catch, clean, cook. Or you let them stay here, have babies, and then the largies eat them and then the largies grow. So it's like kind of go back and forth with the bluegill, the bass, but like the for sure shot of what you got now. What you got now? Oh, a gilly. Hey, what the I heck? Just bouncing off the bottom. I oh, the little gill. Rip. It is just not the crappie day, folks. We're catching. Just not the right species. Where are them crappies at? Dang on in the day. I got, I got another one. I, think, I, I guarantee it's a blue. I, got, I bet you a million dollars it's a freaking blue gill. Because guess what? It's a freaking blue gill. Dude, they are cro Look at the slab on that. Dude, oh my gosh. Oh. If we were eating gills today, we would be in good shape. Look at that guy. Shee Biggin. The crappie gotta be deep. It's the only thing I can think of. Like real deep in the channel or something. We need to drag something. I don't know. I'm trying to let this thing just flutter. Put on a different kind of spinner. It, it flutters better. So I'm thinking if it flutters next to the tree, maybe we have better luck. They're below the gills and like the gills are eating it first. I think that's what's happening. Like, they're there. Oh. oh, we're hooked up. What do we got? Let me guess. Let me just take a wild guess, folks. <laughs> yes, sir. Bluegill duty. Where's Banjo when you need them? Dude, they're munching this. They're all good size too because we're using big baits, not using small baits. It's a full blown mini spinner bait, is what this thing is. Bluegill duty. Ooh. Oh, that might have been something big. Oh, came back. Came back. What do we got? Freaking large. Oh, it's a crappie. crappie. Oh, it's a crappie. I literally thought it was a large one. That's not what the size we're after, but we'll take it. We'll take it. It's not an either size. Dude, that shocked me. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I was talking smack. I was like, freaking bass. Maybe they're further up this Yeah, way. maybe they are. All right. We need to get a little water in that bucket there. He ain't, uh, he ain't slab worthy, but again, any crappie out of here is a good crappie to take out of here or something. So we're taking them. Boom, into the bucket, buddy goes. We got a little aerator we're gonna hook up as well. Keep him alive, that's the first crappie. We were just about to give up. We we're like, hey, maybe we should just go get some lunch, come back later, you know, recharge, re-strategy, maybe go get some different lures. But hey, we caught one, so maybe they are, uh, maybe they're over here somewhere, I don't know. That was a good sign though. We got one crappie down, but I would prefer to catch some bigger ones. I want some eaters, I want some suckers. We can go out next week and then catch again and eat them. Throw them in the old frying pan. Oh. Oh, what do we got? Oh, big crappie, big crappie. Yes, yes, oh, yeah. yes. Don't come off, don't come off now. Come on, big Sheila. Yeah, 
Yeah, baby. Shoo. Let's freaking go, buddy. This is what we may have found the juice. Just took us a second. Shoo. It's not giant. Okay, I thought it was a little, I exaggerated. I could tell it was a crappie when I got down there, though. That's exactly what you want out of there. See how skinny they are? See, we can bulk these little suckers up by giving them lots of minnows, kind of isolate them from the bass. Because right now, the bass are kind of skinny. The crappie are kind of skinny. There's just not enough bait for everything. Too many fish in the pond. We'll go ahead and take this guy out. He's pushing an eater. You could eat him. Okay, might want to bulk him up a little bit, but he's got some shoulders on him. She going in the bucket. Well, that was two crappie in the exact same spot, so we may just want to stay here and milk it. Hopefully we can get a few more. Oh, oh, we got one, we got one. What is it? Oh, it's a crappie, dude! What's the, what's the strat? All of a sudden, I'm freaking Van Dam with the crappie. Let's go, buddy. Woo! Again, not Magus, but we'll take them. We will take them! What the heck? We fished for like two hours with no crappie. That's like three for three in one spot. They are schooled up. We better get back in there. Let's go, baby. Thank goodness for Sir Beetle Spin. He's getting it figured out with these little crappie. There's big ones in here, though. I, I've caught some pretty good sized ones. I think we're, we just need to keep dangling. But they're clearly schooled up. They're just out here. It's like where the old dock used to be. There's some posts and pipes. Maybe they're chilling on that. I don't I don't really know. And I'm just throwing it out there. Let it kind of just drift and sink a little bit. And then they're hitting it. Oh, we got another bite. We got another one. Oh, he come off. He come off. That's all right. We didn't want him anyway. He's too small. Pulled my skirt down. They are loaded up in there, folks. Found the juice. No fish finder needed. Just got to fish a pond small enough to be able to cover every square inch of it in like an hour. And then you'll find them. Fish finder would probably help in this situation. But the old 10-footer strikes again. This is the old crappie machine. Biggin? Oh, big largey. Biggin. Look at that guy. Shee Oh, he's oh let's let's keep him. See how skinny that guy yeah. is? We definitely should take him out of here. He he ain't doing too hot. Look at that guy. Yeah, show, show him the belly. Flip that flip that belly around. Yeah, look at skinny little guy. That's kind of the thing is like, okay, we're not taking all the large off, but that guy, he's skinny. We were just talking about maybe we are going to run and get some minnows. Since these crappie are paper thin, I mean you guys are seeing them. They ain't looking too good. We might, and we've been putting minnows in that pond, you know, because they're already bass or like or whatever, a couple crappie, some bluegills and stuff. So you want to make sure there's some food in there, because that's the whole point for them to grow but i think later today after we stock whatever we end up stocking we're gonna go get some minnows as well and so like taking that little bass is not a bad idea because we'll be able to give him unlimited minnows essentially versus like this is just so much more water you know this pond's like three times the size there's so many other fish so like there's no way to actually guarantee that that little bass is going to get his proper nutrition by throwing him back in here versus we take him over to the cabin pond and we can make sure buddy gets all fat and plump and chunky with them minnows and we'll throw minnows and crawfish and tadpoles and all that fun stuff for him so we'll take him back we'll add to the mix like I said, we're still trying to take largemouth out of here. Then on the contrary, then like now you're trying to grow big walleye, big bluegills, big crappie to eat. And those bass are now taking food. It's like we, we really need a third pond. We need a pond dedicated to stunted largemouth that we can try to like grow them bigger. And then we need another pond that's just for catch cooks. And we need this pond that's for big largemouth. That's pretty much what we need. But I don't have anywhere to build a third pond. So for now, we're just going to have to make do. Oh, 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 what we got here? Come on. Let's see, give me another one. Yes, I see some silver flashes, son. Oh yeah, Mr. Crappy. How you doing? Dude, they're all pretty skinny though. That's, that's not good. It's not good to have skinny fish at any capacity. So he's not too bad. He's got some good shoulders, but his belly, may, or maybe they're all post-spawn. I guess I didn't think about that. They call me spawned out, which is why their belly looks skinny, but their shoulders still have some good meat on it. But hey, another crappy for the cooler. Boom. We got another crappie. How many are in there in total? Four crappie and one largey. We're starting to figure them out, folks. You'd never give up. Keep plugging away. We got four. Six would be ideal. Five would be all right. But we're going to keep fishing since they're biting. This is now referred to as crappie point, folks. We hardly ever really catch fish right here. I mean, we catch some fish off the dock. Like, this point's usually not good for a whole lot. I've caught a few catfish. We're just catching all the crappie. It's crappie point right over here. Just we got bush dreams are made of over there. And that's about all we have for names. I honestly expect the crappie to come from the channel more, like over where those trees are. I think they're just hanging out in this little deep area. They're just big chilling with that warm water. Where is big Sheila? We still need that 12, 13 incher. Come on by. The GoPro died, folks. We're hooked up with another. Yeah. All right. I think that's, is that five or six? Ooh, I think that's, is that six? Five, six. I think it's five crappie in one bag. It's five. I think we're going to call it good there. I thought it was a lot bigger than that. They, they always seem much bigger. But right in the same spot, what the heck? Eh, we made a decent dent. They're not on fire today. They definitely could be doing a little bit better. But we want to throw them in the bucket. And we want to get these guys in the other pond before they get too warm and start getting cooked down in there. So let's go take these to the pond. Shoo! 
made it down to the cabin pod, folks. It's time to stock this sucker with some crappie. They're not giants. A couple of them look slavish, okay? They're not amazing, but we do have... Oh, hey, how you doing? Wake up, wake up. Yep, see, they're getting a little... They're getting a little lethargic. Oh, they're, see, they're awake, they're awake. See, that's why we got it. We got to get them in here in this nice cooler water. It's a little bit warm in that cooler, but they should make it. They were only in there for like 30 or so minutes, so let's get this sucker stocked. One little largey. He's a skinny guy. See you there, dude. Hey, wake up, pal. Make sure you swim off. Oh yeah, you're, you're playing possum. Look at him. You just gave me two good kicks. There you go. There you go. You got it. Go ahead, go ahead. Don't be playing dead with me now. I know you're not dead. Just a little warm in there. There you go. See, they're fine. Look at them. They'll go get some cooler water. It's a little warm to be transporting fish, but there you go, buddy. Woo, woo, woo. Oh yeah. All right, uno mas. We got five crappie and a largey. Not a bad stocking day for just a couple quick hours of fish, but those are good. You know, give them a year or two and them. Them will be eating size. I mean, you could eat them right now, but they're not quite big enough. So, as you can tell, a lot of them were kind of skinny. So, we need to go grab some minnow. We'll see you guys back here, hopefully, with a bucket of live minnows. If they, we can keep that, those guys alive. Sometimes we bring a bunch of dead ones back. So, we'll see if we can bring some alive minnows back to feed the crappie we just put in the cabin pond. Stay tuned. Shoo! Well, folks, we're back and we got some freaking manners. Look at them old, oh, a couple aren't doing all right. Rip. Oh, he's actually alive. Oh, hey, oh, you think they might like fish? Hang on now. Give you them got... a dead one or something? Hey, you want a manner? What if you guys like the dead ones? I feel like geese like, come here. Hey, you want, you want some minnows? Come on, come on. Hey, you want some food? <laughs> no, where are you? Hey. Oh, are they going to eat it? We fed our ducks minnows one time. They said, that don't look like golden corn. Here. Are they scared of us all of a sudden? What the heck? Raccoons are gonna like me tonight. Hey, you want some? Come on, come on. Hey, come on. You guys don't like them? Okay, well, they don't like them. All right, so we got like uh, three, four dozen. Not Nothing too bad. We couldn't get too many because you can see they're already dying. We didn't have a whole lot of water to deal with, but this should hopefully help feed some of them crappies we put in there. We really need to get some more, but we weren't able to get as many as we wanted. We re These are, oh, there's some, see those little, those fryer minnows. Can you see those little suckers? They're like right on the other side of that grass. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Those, there's no way those are minnows, right? Those have to be fry. Oh my God, I don't know if you guys can see those. Dude, there's like thousands of fry. I wonder what that was. And we've only put like, I mean, we put some bass. Maybe it's bass fry. They they look long. They look like minnows. Yeah. Oh, there's a ton. Of, why I don't even know why we bought minnows. I'm glad I'm glad we didn't buy any more freaking minnows. There's literally like a, a ball of like a thousand of them sitting there. So those crappies should hopefully have some food. But anyways, go ahead and just give them give them a quick yeet. Yeet. There we go. Oh yeah. See, oh those are way bigger. Oh, yeah. Those had yeah, to have been to fried. Be so something already spawned in here? This is crazy. We just started stocking this sucker, but we only put little bass. We didn't put like big sheilas or big mamas or nothing like that. They're not even close to the same size as those minnows. Yeah, they had to have been fried. If they're smaller than minnows, they have to be fried. That would only make the most sense. Cause I mean, we've put some minnows in here. Like we went to beamers and bought thousands. They were the same size ones we just chucked in there. And those swimming around were like that. So something spawned in here. But honestly, probably a good thing that maybe these minnows will substitute and save some of those fries so the fry can kind of grow up. But that means this thing's already a full-blown ecosystem. Stuff spawning and giving birth left and right. And well, maybe the, that'll feed some of the bass and the crappie and get some of these fish grown. We want to come fish it. Maybe we'll let this water clear up a little bit. It's kind of, do you see that sucker? Yeah, I was just about to Dude, say. does that not look like a little minnow spinner bait of some kind? I don't know if you guys can oh see that flash. God. That's exactly what your lure looks like when it's down there doing spinner bait things. It's a, that is a wounded minnow and it looks, oh, there he comes to the surface. Look at that. Watch the flash on that sucker. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's KO'd. Big rep. Oh, they eating it? These guys are a lot more respectful now when it comes to their noise. Yeah, what happened? I thought they used to be loudmouth. I don't know what I was going to say. Loudmouth, loudmouth Mandy. Does that work? No. Larry. I'm trying to think. Who? Larry. Larry? Loudmouth Larry. Yeah, I like that better. There's an L, not the M. Loudmouth Larry. I'm not sure why they're they're quiet and they're kind of scared of us. Could be they got, the dogs got a hold of them the other day. They may associate us with the pups and the pups got a hold of them. But I don't know. This is kind of crazy. Now that the sun's out and you can see pretty well, what we were saying is maybe once this water cleans up a little bit, we'll try to come back and catch some of the crappie we just put in there. We've put some other fish in here, like crappie and stuff on and off camera, just a little bit here and there. Not too much. I mean, we've documented most of it. But there's definitely some catchable fish in here, I would think. If stuff is spawning, you would think they'd be mature enough to catch and clean and cook it. So we may have to come back in a week or so and maybe try to give it a dang. Well, first time we've ever really fished it and maybe get something pulled out and throw it in the frying pan. So with that being said, hopefully you guys at home enjoyed today's video. We got some crappie. Definitely not as big as I wanted or as many as we want. But, you know, for just targeting crappie, I'm not a crappie guy. I mean, I feel like we did pretty darn good. We got five crappie and a largemouth. We caught a bunch of bluegills and some bass. We had a good time. But now they're stocked in here. I want this to be a big, deep crappie hole in walleye hole that would be like my preference if we could really pick because the other one's got plenty of bluegill plenty of bass but we need to get this sucker loaded up with some crappie so anyways hopefully you guys at home enjoy today's video we'll catch you on the next one and peace